His rhetoric may be unorthodox, his accusations bold. Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. She was the worst Secretary of State in the history of our country. The world blew apart during her reign. But Donald Trump is leading in the polls. The multi-billionaire has been commanding the headlines from Republican candidates in the race for the White House. A new poll confirms Trump is beating all 17 candidates announced in the race. Trump arrived in Scotland for the start of the Women's British Open, played at a course he owns. Even on the other side of the pond, Trump was asked about his thoughts on immigration and U.S. foreign policy. I think I would probably get along very well with Putin. I think I get along very well with the people from China. And the problem we have is that the people running China, Mexico, Japan, all of the leaders of those countries are much smarter, sharper, more cunning than our leaders. Trump said his sometimes controversial comments on immigration are the reason he's climbed to the top of the GOP race. A new poll from Quinnipiac University shows the billionaire businessman at 20 percent, while ahead of the other Republican candidates, Scott Walker and Jeb Bush, make up the top three. And it's a hotly contested race in the battle for the top. The top three Republican candidates have led the race in the four most recent nationwide polls. They've secured their positions, at least for now. For Democrats, Bernie Sanders spoke from Washington, D.C. He knows that he's fighting an uphill battle against the well-financed Hillary Clinton for the primary. For people to be working not just one job, but two jobs, three jobs, to cobble together some income and some health care. That is not what the American economy should be about. But this week, the focus has been on Republicans. Former Virginia Governor Jim Gilmore became the 17th Republican to join the race when he filed his paperwork announcing his candidacy this week. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.